So here we are. We're going to do a little bison oscobusco. There's the bison. The shanks right there. Oscobusco. Oh, God, they do look beautiful, don't they? In the pan here, we've already got it started. It's going to be some uh, butter with onion, garlic, shallots, a little tiny bit of parsley. We're gonna heat that up real good and warm. And get that going here for us. And warm that up. Oh, you can already start to see it. It's starting to jump in there. Better throw this in here right now. Because it's ready for it. Oh yeah, you can hear that. Does that not sound good? So, there's one man here doing it with a camera in his hand trying to show you what I'm doing and I'm trying to make this a beautiful beautiful meal so anyway over here we got the well we got the Trinity let's just start with that we all know what this is a little onion we all know what that is a little celery and uh, well the third part of the Trinity is some well, carrots these are heirloom carrots Heritage heirloom carrots. That's the purple stuff. Anyway, moving on. I got tomatoes. And this is heirloom tomatoes also. And I cut them up. I de-seeded them so I could use the seeds to grow some more. And the funny thing is, is that these I smashed. And you can see the paddle there. Then I'm going to add a little... Well, we should do this now. Just a little pepper here. That's fresh ground pepper. Oops, Daisy. Got it all on one, but that's all right. We're doing this with one hand, so we'll just spread it around a little bit. Just like that. Just a little pepper. Oh, yeah, it'll be good. There's a little bit of... A little bit of sea salt. Because I don't use regular salt. I don't use that iodized stuff. Now over here we got just some chopped garlic, some chopped parsley. Ooh, what is that? Everybody knows. Everybody knows. It's a little apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna just throw a little dash in there. Got some oregano. I'm gonna cheat and use a little oregano, a little cumin, along with a basil leaf. It's gonna be fantastic. So what I'm really doing right now is I'm trying to get this all browned up real quick. It looks fantastic. Get this all browned up. Yeah, I like that. That's looking good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that one got a little sticky. That's good. That's good. That's what we want. Yeah, so we're browning those down. Them all brown down here, so they soak in the flavors. Can you just see that meat? Just look at it right there. Ooh, got a little steam meat into it. But you can just see it searing all that flavor in. This is free-range, grass-fed bison. Nobody can deny that this will taste good. Oh yeah. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to pull the bison out. I'm going to leave it down. And then I'm going to throw all this, my trinity right here. And then I prepped everything for us all. I'm going to throw the trinity in. And then I'm going to add some oregano and some cumin. And then I'm going to add that basil leaf just to the stuff. And then I'm going to add a little whole tomatoes. Well, they're crushed. That was an heirloom tomato, all crushed out. And then we'll just go on from there. After that, I'll add a little water. There's some water. I'm going to add a little red wine. Ooh, you can't even hardly see it. Some nice red wine, a little tastiness. Just to simmer all that down. And once we're done with that, I'll add back in the, the bison here. Oh, God, that looks so good. I'm going to add back in the bison, and we'll go with that. 
and then we'll just cook everything down for a bit. Maybe three, four, five hours, I don't know. Until it gets to a nice place. Anyway, that's what we got going on. Trying to make sure this is seared good in all the spots. I got a big pan because I'm expecting a big amount of stuff. Better throw this other pan over here. Now, there we go. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Yeah. And these are really, truly beautiful carrots. I don't know if you guys can really see that as well as I hope you do. That is. And I can't... Oh, my gosh. I smell this heirloom tomato. is just amazing. Nothing like one of those crazy store-bought ones. It's got great flavor. I can smell it everywhere. Awesome. Just awesome. Anyway... Well, we're about done with this here. We've about got this all ready to go. So I'm going to take this, and I'm moving it around. I'm trying to do this with one camera, so bear with me, folks. Oh, oh look at that. Does that not look great? I mean, just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. If you haven't had bison before, I highly recommend it is very low in fat it's got great flavor you do a million things with it now let's start with this and we're just gonna go just gonna get it all in there just all of it but anyway back to the bison you can do all kinds of things with it you can put in a little marinade with some soy sauce or teriyaki sauce you can put a whole bunch of flavorings on it. You can get a ribeye. You can get the shanks. You can get the neck. You can do all kinds of things with it. But tonight we're doing oscobusco, which would be the shank. It's a leg bone cut crosswise, straight across the bone. And there's the bone right there. And you can, the marrow and everything will taste that when it's all done. It would be fantastic. It is one of the healthier meats you can have because of the low fat and the high nutrients in it. But I'm trying to get all this done as one man with one camera just doing his job. Now, we're going to mix this up a little bit. Get it going. Oh, yeah, there we go. Everything's starting to flow together. Look at the colors. Wow, that's a beautiful thing. A beautiful mixture you can hear it. I need to turn this down just a hair we're gonna put it on half heat so there it is half heat yeah nice ooh I know you all felt that so we're rolling with it I'm gonna look at these tomatoes and think about them and uh, beyond that, I don't know what to say to you. I'm going to saute this for a bit here. And you can already see it taking on the flavors. It's already taking on everything. All that flavor from the meat. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So here we are. Got that going. Now I'm going to add this oregano, and I'm using ground oregano. I would like to use a regular oregano.